Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. I want to particularly acknowledge Major Fitzgerald and Lieutenant Ryan and the other members of the Providence Police Department, uh, Carrie Lang from the WBNA, our City Solicitor Joe Fernandez, uh, the Director of the Office of Neighborhood Services, plus Chet Mitchell, uh, and many other individuals that are committed to uh, helping to eradicate graffiti in our city. As you all know, this is, Providence is a vibrant city with great neighborhoods, and as spring approaches, and today is a good sign that spring is on the way, uh, we particularly look forward to spending more time outdoors and enjoying the beauty of the neighborhoods of our city. And that's why today we are uh, again announcing our, uh, the, the launch of our graffiti squad. Uh, this is part of our effort to do everything that we can do to ensure that we eliminate the blight of graffiti in the neighborhoods of our city. Um, very often people talk about graffiti as a victimless crime uh, or a public nuisance. Um, and I think everyone knows that it is actually an assault on an entire neighborhood and on everyone who lives or visits that neighborhood. And if left unchecked, it can have a really devastating impact on the quality of life of a neighborhood and contribute to the decay in a neighborhood. And so today, I'm very pleased to announce the formal launch of the city's graffiti task force for 2009. Uh, I created this task force in an effort to combat graffiti with a really comprehensive approach. Um, first, multiple abatement teams. We have now three teams out abating graffiti. Very aggressive enforcement, increased public awareness and education, uh, and increased cash rewards for information leading to arrests, increased penalties for those uh, convicted of graffiti, uh, requirement for restitution to, for damages and community service. Uh, criminal liability for uh, individuals selling or acquiring paint for minors to engage in graffiti, and the creation of a hotline, 1-800-TAGGERS, and a website, uh, providenceri.com slash graffiti to report uh, vandalism. So the city um, officials and the police department are really working on this aggressively and doing their part. We really need the public's help. We need the public to do its part, and that is to report offenders so that the police can stop them in their tracks so that we can arrest these individuals and hold them responsible. The juvenile who was responsible for the graffiti right behind me uh, was caught in the act this past Saturday on March 22nd and taken into police custody. Uh, just a few weeks ago, you may remember reading about uh, a Rhode Island School Design security guard uh, that caught another suspect in an act of graffiti on Benefit Street and he was also arrested by the Providence Police Department and as a result of that the RISD security officer is now eligible for a $500 task force reward. Uh, so I want to be just reinforced the city is ready and prepared to prosecute these individuals to the full extent of the law. We need information from you, we need your assistance. If you see someone doing this contact the police or the graffiti uh, hotline immediately. Go online, report it. All of the information about the uh, uh, the comprehensive effort to combat graffiti is contained in this brochure, which has the numbers, the rewards, uh, the, the website, uh, and I want to just ask everyone to become a part of this effort to uh, eradicate graffiti from the neighborhoods of our city. And now I'd like to invite Carrie Lang up to, uh, from the WBNA, who has been a great leader of that organization, and that organization has been a great leader in terms of helping to raise the quality of life in the neighborhood, in this neighborhood, and graffiti has certainly been an important part of that. Hello. I wanted to um, thank the mayor, the city, the Graffiti Task Force, Office of Neighborhood Services, and the Providence Police Department for working together with us, the West Broadway Neighborhood Association, on something that matters so much to us. Graffiti is such a quality of life issue.